know, I'm getting mighty tired of your trifling ways and of listening to that jackass Bray. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Okay, you guys. God damn, she's nasally. The nose is getting so big, she's talking through it. Okay, you guys. Today's praise song is one of my faves. Every song you pick, you say is a favorite. They all suck. I, I don't, I'm not sure if we did it before. And yeah, today's one of them days. I ain't even finna look, because I don't care, because we gonna do it anyway. He's my friend, and he's my guy. It's cute. I love it. Whoever told this bitch she could sing needs to be stabbed in the eye with a fork immediately. Oh my gosh, Rana fam. The narcissists are interfering with me updating my website. Translation. She doesn't know what the fuck she's doing. And rather than admitting to her own incompetence, she blames it on other people. Like, these people are so lame. I'm busy and I have things to do. Obviously. Because when you're super busy, the logical thing to do is hop on social media and complain about how busy you are. I need them to get out of my way and fuck away from me. I don't know how you haven't noticed, but I promise there's not a single person on the face of this earth that wants to be anywhere near you. I'm not going back to California. Um, okay. I don't think anyone cares. Except Florida. The people of Florida really want you to go back to California. Or anywhere really, other than Florida. There's nothing wrong with California. It's just my purpose there is what done. people get for being phony. That's what people get for lying on me and lying to their mother selves. What do you mean that's what they get? What do they get? Nobody got anything. You're not even talking about anything logical. You do this all the time, out of the blue. That's what they get. Do you have any clue how dumb you sound? Every time you open your mouth. Acting like they wasn't gonna miss me when I'm gone. There's not a single person that misses you. I can guarantee. But you know that. Okay, y'all, so my comedy album is an hour and 36 minutes. So it took you over a week to put together only an hour and 36 minutes of garbage that you already had saved on your computer? You do realize that nobody gives a shit about this comedy album, right? You're going to spend the next four years talking about how you made this comedy album when it's just all your old material put together in one place. Material that wasn't funny when it was new still isn't funny now. If you spent half as much energy trying to better your life as you spend trying to recycle old shit and make it new again, you might be partially successful at something once in a while. Nobody was interested in your comedy clips for the past 10 years that they've been sitting collecting dust on your YouTube channel. They sure as hell aren't going to be interested in it now. An hour 36 minutes of entertainment. Um, I'm making it available to my extended family first and foremost, of course. Four hours. She gave them the opportunity to buy it four hours ahead of everyone else. 14 hours ago, which would have been about 5 p.m. on Thursday, she made a post saying that her comedy album was available for her extended family members. Then, just four hours later, which was about 9 o'clock on Thursday night, she made it available to everybody. I'll bet the bitch still didn't even sell one. How mad would you be if you paid $30 a month for exclusive access to shit and you ended up only getting the garbage she produces and the ability to buy her comedy album four hours before anyone else? And it's four hours on a Thursday evening. She gave no one any advance notice either. Not that anyone actually cares, but I mean, you guys know what I mean, right? 
also about to package it um, as an individual product, of course, and sell it on my website and uh, subsidiary, subsidiary websites and stuff like that. Okay? Okay. People, please keep your bullshit insecurities off of me. Get off my website. Get out of my life. It's not my fault. You thought I needed you. No one even thinks about you, so they definitely didn't think you needed them. I mean, other than your father, and he was right. Look at where you're at without his monthly check. Please go away. Please go away. I can self-distribute and do whatever I want with my material. I've been doing this shit since 2002. This is what people get on my nerves with. It doesn't take this long to upload audio files. The file isn't that big and it's compressed. Please get the f*** off my website. So sick of all of these lies. Considering the fact that I've got a channel full of proof that you're the one telling lies, I think what you meant to say is you're tired of being caught in your lies. And the truth is, I can do what it takes them to do in a year, I can do in 30 minutes to an hour. There's a huge difference. It took you an hour to put together 10 years worth of material into a shitty product. It takes them a year to make new material and put together a quality professional product. And that's one of the reasons why they hate me. They hate me so much for that. For those people to hate you, two things would have to happen. One, they'd have to know who you are. And two, they'd have to care. Tion may remember who you are, but he sure as hell doesn't give a damn about you or what you're doing. 50 doesn't even know who you are. You're claiming people hate you just for attention. These people don't know who you are, and they don't give a shit what you do. The reason why I was bored, this shit is so fucking easy to me. You keep claiming how easy it is for you to do this work, but you talked about doing a comedy album for two years before you actually did it. So... Was it not as easy as you claim, or are you just lazy? It's so easy to me. Um, yeah, it should be. All you did was take audio from existing videos and splice it together. My seven-year-old nephew does that daily. That I can do something else. It doesn't have to take my entire year, all my attention. I can just focus on it and get it done. And they hate that about me. They have to invent a lazy narrative when it's far from the truth. I run circles around these people. Have you looked at your knees lately? What about your ankles? You have to have recognized that they're the same size. You do remember when you tried to jump rope, right? You're not running physically or figuratively anywhere. They don't like me. They don't want me. They don't want to accept me or none of that shit. And I don't want to be a part of what they got. You definitely do. You sold your soul in an attempt to be a part of what they got. I just want to be left alone. You have been left alone. That's why you're so mad and why you act a fool all the time. You can't stand the fact that nobody is paying you any attention. I had the ability to make straight A's and possibly anything and everything I decided to do. If that were the case, I think you would have done a little bit better in college. That's when I decided, ugh, I don't value this stuff like this. Let me focus on things that actually speak to me. Just another excuse for all your failures. And some people wish they had that ability. I understand. The ability to come up with a really bad excuse that doesn't even make sense every time they fail? Yeah, okay. But I'm 39 and I'm not going to keep apologizing for it. I'm not. Especially when I don't have to be bothered with anybody. And they don't have to be bothered with me. We never have to be bothered with each other. So it's when people decide that they care or they want to invest or that, you know what I mean? That's when you should take it seriously. Take what seriously? You were just talking about not being bothered with people. Now you're talking about people investing and taking things seriously. Are you high? And when you don't, that's just your bad because that's just life. You're not making any sense at all. I'm going to play it back just to be sure. And I don't have to be bothered with anybody. And they don't have to be bothered with me. We never have to be bothered with each other. So it's when people decide that they care or they want to invest or that, you know what I mean? That's when you should take it seriously. And when you don't, that's just your bad because that's just life. Yep. As usual, you're not making any sense at all. It's like some homeless word salad that you found on sale at Whole Foods. Or like you were riding on the bus and thought of the things you wanted to say, but don't really know how to make them make sense. So you just let them spew out of your mouth and hope nobody caught on. First playlist coming up soon. Hopefully they stop trying to interfere. I was going to drop it at midnight, but I was so tired, so overworked, and so in pain that I decided to get some sleep.
Why would you be tired or overworked? You said what you did was easy, right? Or was that another lie? This could have been out yesterday. You could have been out two years ago. So what? Still not funny. Still garbage. Still not going to make any money off it. And you're still a colossal failure. It still can come out. It's not my fault y'all didn't believe. It's not my, I don't care. I told y'all, I'm doing it. It's getting done. I'm dropping it. And here it is. Could be in a store right now. It definitely couldn't be. You'd have to produce quality material for it to be in a store. And you're not capable of that. If they would get, they could just get off my site and focus on their lives. Spending all this time trying to tell me about myself. They can't even do this. Anybody can do that. Literally anybody. Let me tell you something. They're so mad they result in the black magic. Dude, I was in the middle of uploading this and then I had an instant urge to have to use the bathroom. That was literally 10 minutes ago. And now it's coming back when because of everything I'm saying. That's not black magic. That's a bladder infection. And it's caused by your lack of hygiene. These motherfuckers live so much in the dark. That's why they're in the closet. They can't even come out and face who they are. They gotta do everything in secret. Because they suck living out if in the millionaires open. millionaires being wildly successful and living their best life is what you call sucking at living, I'd love to know what you call whatever the hell it is that you're doing with your life. I just want to go ahead and put it out there. This is just evidence that the chickens are coming home to roost. All that time people spent trying to tell me how I'm wasting my time doing shit. And now they see directly, yeah, I was focusing on building my brand because all I got to do is point people to my website. But no one's interested in your website or anything that you create. So what's the point? And while we're at it, let's address that website. Any sixth grader enrolled in the United States public school system is capable of building a website that's far superior to the one that you have right now. Yours is full of spelling and grammar errors. There's areas where you can't even read what's written because the text is just as light as the background. You brag about putting together a website, which is something any adolescent in America can do, and they can do it a lot better. Your website's garbage, just like everything else you create. And that is actual work. It's real work. Programming, all that stuff, it takes work. It takes time. You gotta build it, and then you build it and it's ready. It doesn't take that long. I could recreate that website in about three hours. My kids could do it in under an hour. And because now they see the direct pipeline, but they were too stupid and they have no vision, they didn't see that before. Now they're scrambling like roaches because they realize that they're silly and they have to reconfigure their plan because whatever they was trying to do wasn't working. No one's scrambling or recreating plans because there weren't any plans to begin with. Everyone knows all they have to do is leave you alone and you'll self-destruct. I know I can't be the only person that sees that mustache. God bless. Oh, you're just spending time on YouTube. Yeah, I'm promoting. Yeah, I'm building. Yeah, this is still work. And if it wasn't, why can't you do it? Do you realize that you don't make any sense? Or are you really that high? You just said, if something wasn't work, why can't I do it? What the fuck does that even mean? Why don't you do it? Why don't you have the ability? The ability to do what? Sit on social media and tell lies all day? Yeah. Speak a real truth. Most of you can't. You have to defer to somebody else to do yeah, it for you. Yeah, it's not 2004. Pretty much everybody can do what you're doing. Except for aiming their shit into a bowl. That, that's where your talent is. Somebody more knowledgeable than you. Somebody having more know-how, more skill. And then you have to pay for it. Oh that's where this is coming from you're mad that you had to make your own website and other people can afford to have one made for them even though if they were to make their own it would still be better than the one you made so you're mad at me because i don't have to go through all of those obstacles and changes and because i am the plug i don't have to defer to anybody else and it doesn't cost me yeah, anything no one's mad they're not even giving you and your website a second thought and um you definitely are not the plug for anything other than fecal matter. Throw money out there all you want. We all need it. Everybody does. Nobody's exempt from needing it. It helps buy things that we need and want. It helps sustain our lives. Absolutely. But I don't even use it in the same terms or have the same need for it as everybody else. Here we are with the pick me act again. You're so different. The only difference between most people and you when it comes to money is that most people have it and pay either rent or a mortgage with it. And you don't. Because I am the person. You're the person who what? You just said you don't have the same need for money because you're the person. Again, you're not making sense. 
Is that an Instacart lanyard that she has on? Yeah, because I've been working for Instacart since 2015. Since 2015 minus 2017 through 2021. So what you're saying is you work for Instacart from 2015 to 2016. But you can't work for them anymore because you're now a violent felon. But regardless of your checkered past, when did working for Instacart become a flex? I've never been lazy, which means this has never been about laziness. They just wanted to manipulate my money, which is why they started attacking Instacart. Well, you've definitely always been lazy. You wouldn't be in this position if you weren't. I've been doing this Yeah, on the for side. like a week until they saw your criminal history report. I'm sending these wicked, stupid ass security guards to follow me. I don't give a fuck what people know about my living situation. Stop trying to turn everything into an excuse about what those homeless people be doing if you ain't got no money for so me. you're saying you're cool with people talking bad about the homeless as long as they give you money? Why don't you just be honest and say you don't give a damn about anything, you just want everyone to hand you money so you don't have to work? I'm sending these wicked, stupid ass. None of this shit was a part of my circumstance to tell a nigga who like boys. Okay? You couldn't even get the rest of the sentence out because you really didn't care. You just wanted to make sure you got that one line out. The words that just came out of your mouth don't reflect poorly on anyone other than yourself. What's worse is you're not even smart enough to understand that. God damn. Between the nose and the teeth, she might just pass for a DV victim right now. Nose is all swollen and tooth looks like it's about to jump right out of her mouth. These little lames then followed me everywhere. And I'm in Tampa trying to mind my business, and they still got people that they reaching out to like I'm supposed yeah, no. to give a f It's not happening. These little whack mugs will sell us out to the highest bidder. Sail. They're going to sail you out? What, like on a boat? Will sell us out to the highest bidder. <laughs> to the clan. Who are you even talking about right now? Do you even know? Or are you just throwing words out there hoping that people will blindly support you? You hear me? I don't have no love for none of these whack people That's no more. It's easy for you to say when you're yelling into your phone. I'd be willing to bet a thousand dollars. But if one of them was in front of you right now, it'd be a completely different story. They're whack. That's why they had to have all those threesomes and menages to get on. <laughs> Honey, that was just you who did that. And the funny part is you were so terrible that they still wouldn't put you on. Because people needed naked pictures of them to hold as collateral in case their albums don't sell. Say that again. And then come back and tell me what kind of sense it makes. All right, y'all, that's all I can take of her today. Um, I've been working on this on and off all day in between naps. But I am going to try and get something else out tomorrow. So I hope you guys all have a great weekend. And I'm getting mighty tired of your traveling ways and of listening to that jackass Bray. Liar, liar, pants on fire.